Hi, I'm Stephanie, and this is my cancer journey at Penn Medicine, Princeton Medical Center. In 2014, I was diagnosed with breast cancer, uh, stage 1A. Um, to hear the cancer word was devastating. I remember um, being very upfront with the kids, telling them that mom had cancer. Um, but I told them that we caught it very early on. That was a difficult conversation, but I wanted to be open with them and, um, you know, so that they knew what was going on if mom was tired for whatever reason or grouchy or whatever it was. My OBGYN recommended that I go to see a, a breast specialist at um, the Princeton Medical Center. I ended up uh, having a lumpectomy. In the years following, I uh, actually felt great. This was just going to be the one blip in my in my journey, and we were just going to sail off into the sunset kind of thing, if you will. And then in the summer of 2020, I started doing some, having some spotting, some bleeding, and so I went and I made an appointment with the OBGYN. He did a, a hysteroscopy and came back with an additional uh, cancer, uterine cancer. My doctor recommended um, that I go to see a specialist, Dr. Marcus, at Penn Medicine, Princeton Medical Center. And uh, he said, she's, she's fabulous, you're gonna love her. So when I first met Stephanie, she was very afraid. Um, she had breast cancer, so with this new diagnosis, it you know, it dealt a tremendous blow. She had had a long history of abnormal bleeding and several procedures to work that up in the past. And the fact that uh, her, Stephanie, and her providers kept looking for a reason was what led to an early diagnosis and a cure. Abnormal uterine bleeding is exceedingly common. It is something that if a woman is experiencing, she should still mention to her gynecologist so a determination can be made as to whether she should undergo treatment or evaluation. In general, when a woman is diagnosed with uterine cancer and she is either postmenopausal or is done having children, then the treatment option is surgical, typically a robotic hysterectomy, uh, which offers uh, excellent recovery uh, and low complication rate. She went through my various options and uh, we had decided together um, that I would have a full hysterectomy. I'm glad we were collaborative in the discussion of what my treatment plan would be. After we've discussed the surgery and the fact that 95, 96% of women are cured by surgery alone, it's a huge relief. On the day of surgery, I remember thinking, I am about to have a full hysterectomy and hopefully get this cancer out of me. And I remember um, Dr. Marcus saying, we're gonna take care of this for you. And then I remember waking up and Dr. Marcus actually was right there. And she said, you did great. We got it all. Today, I feel great. Mentally, I feel great. I got an exercise bike that I'm enjoying. I'm a bit of a workaholic, but I'm happy. It's past me. I've been a full year now, and I'm feeling definitely back to my old self again. The last time I saw Stephanie, she was back to her normal life. Uh, she had started to move past having a diagnosis of breast cancer and uterine cancer. Um, and so it's just, you know, nice at that point to see people when the worry is gone and they are cured and we can do her exam and talk about her children and work and other things that are happening. Between the previous doctors that I've always had at Penn Princeton Medical and then meeting Dr. Marcus, I just, I knew I was in good hands. I was in the right hands and she was gonna take care of me. I think I've always found hope and motivation to keep going for my family, 
for myself, for my kids. I would recommend Penn Medicine, Princeton Medical Center to anybody going through what I went through. Dr. Marcus is now part of my team. We beat it.